We are live. Welcome. I'm your host, Jay Hill. With my co-host for tonight is Elizabeth Mary Quinn. Um, this is another episode of Studio 6, Studio Moment Podcast. And we have a special guest, uh, Silent Paranormal. And we want to say welcome. Thank you for agreeing to greet. So, first off, um, I wanted to ask you a little bit about how you got started in the paranormal. So, do you want like Crystal and Sue explain who they are and what they do? You mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, one of you can talk about who and what you do. Oh, we got one so more. Crystal, one will, more. Crystal will speak. Crystal will speak first. So I'm going to let her talk. So I'm going to use my voice for her. So whenever I use my voice, I'm going to make sure I use my name, the, whoever talking's name. So right now, Crystal is going to talk. Okay. Hi, I this is Calvin Paranormal. I, my name is Crystal Lee. I am a member of the team. Also, a hearing, two, two hearing people joined in her team. But the three deaf people and two hearing. They go to client houses, they do businesses, they do investigative they, what clients wish to do and do investigations of what the client needs or want and to investigate and teach. And we show them how we do what we do and without hearing. So we have various capabilities of doing that. I'm show you how we do it. We use, we rely on visual, feelings, smell, and also we use our visual equipment that they have, that they use. They use some of the visual equipment that they have to, for feeling and listening. Wow, that's, that's pretty incredible. <laughs> So, so, um, so, so have you, um, what was the one thing that got you into doing this, like being a paranormal investigator, knowing that you're deaf, were you worried or afraid of the challenges or were you up for the challenge? Um, Crystal was that. So I started at the age of four. She remembered my grandmother was warning me about grandfather's house and she saw something and she kept taking care of me a lot. And my grandmother was at work, or where I worked. My grandmother used to always feel somebody was watching me. So one, t the one in the corner. So she, her brother and I are very curious about the attic, like, what's going on with the grandma? What's going on upstairs in the attic? What's up there? Are there a ghost? It's not friendly. There's no, we don't go upstairs. Why are we, why can't we go up and be curious? So we're very curious. So they went up and they put the light on, but they've gone up with no duck. And they were playing with the toys up in the attic and feel the energy change in the room. And somebody's watching you in the corner. And the people are looking at you like, they were feeling like a little afraid, like so they ran downstairs and felt like they're behind them, chasing them down the stairs to the door. And they hit the door and they looked up and they felt this presence. You can't see it, but they felt it. They just oh. ran. So it was her grandfather that was, was up in the attic. That's what, and and uh, the grandmother told her, don't go up there. Mm -hmm. But this is a teenage thing. So when I became a teenager, I was living in Middleborough in Massachusetts. And the Triangle Bridge is famous one here in Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. There's a place called the Witch Tree. So she gone mm -hmm. to the Witch Tree about 16 years old. A friend of hers telling the story about this place. So she was curious. So she went over to the Witch Tree. And she found that place, and she went, and she'd gone very often just to go and look at the, who's buried there. So there were four burial there, one tree. And she went, and one day, 
she was late at night with my brother and was taking pictures and I, saw, I felt like an energy was changing in me. She felt something's not right. So she left. So when she got home, she started to look at how the house started changing the energy she was in. The house felt different. Nothing was the same. She felt awful experience. She remembers my my room and that the, the light that the, it was hidden, like something something in her room was shining in her room. And she was like, What is that? So she was looking, she didn't know what that. So one night so she caught a red eye and the and the what this? What's this? You said this. Oh long. Oh log. Oh okay. <laughs> Okay, thank you. <clears throat> oh, closet, the closet door. Okay, the closet door. Sorry. Go ahead. So she caught the closet door and she opened and they opened herself. I'll always, one night, I woke me up and I thought something was washing me. So she saw a shape looking at her and she was so afraid. She got underneath the covers and she felt that she had a waterbed at that time. And she felt the pressure on the water bed, that's like a ripple in her bed. And she's like, okay, what's going on? Her bed is and now it's under stuck. So I had experience with power, 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 power slip, the, the vision, power, power, slip. And she struggled with, and she couldn't open her eyes. She couldn't do it one time. So there are times she, she was stuck and she was afraid. She couldn't scream. She couldn't open her eyes. She said she saw something looking at her, but she couldn't. So she prayed. She said, please, like, let me go. Let me go. I feel it. And she felt the release coming off of her. And she was able to get on, up underneath the covers. So wow. I followed wow. that, that tree. So she goes to that witch tree with the brother and prays and clean the house. And the energy changed. And sign now got from going forward until about 27 years when she bought this house that she had in about 27 years old. She didn't know about the history of this house she lived in now. Mm -hmm. So her son was born in 2010. And we stayed home full time at that time as a mother. And she noticed things, the energy and things that was moving in the house and much. I think she said, I haven't walked in. I didn't move anything yet. What's, how is this moving? And she noticed, then just I was talking, laughing and playing. So her son, her daughter was looking around. She noticed, was laughing at them. She's like, what are you laughing at? So my friend, who definitely a medium, said, oh, there's a story about this. I don't understand what's happening. So she said, oh, there's a ghost in the house. Oh, really? So she spoke with it and she loved to watch. She was suspicious about the, the previous owner of the house. And she, it was her. And she said, sorry, we sold the house. I'm the new owner of the house. I, I, I bought this. And they, the other one they moved away. So the energy has changed to acknowledge her. And going forward, she was curious about the depth communication. Like, how, am I, how can I motivate? Be, to become investigator, to show hearing people that deaf people can identify and can do feel things as like an investigator. They can feel they feel it more than what they visualize. They can sense something going on around them. That's okay, that's that's, that's, a, a, that's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing in itself. Um, Elizabeth. Um, can you, I know that you can see this as well as I can, but she has a very bright light. I mean, she's very gifted. Yes. And it's like, it gives me chills knowing that she's gifted. Yeah. She's, she's able to send her emotions too, because yeah. I was actually getting frightened and tearing up as, as she was talking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's that's awesome. <laughs> so um, let me say, um, Crystal, do you do you know that you're gifted like that? Do you know what? That you're gifted. 
message do you know that you have gifts like like mediums have gifts yes she does yes, yes she does <laughs> yeah she empathetic 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 emph uh, emph i can't pronounce that empathetic. word right yep. Emph yep. yeah so that's what she's been on. She's, she's, she gets she's a lot more than that. Yeah, she's a lot more than that. Jay said a lot more than that. It's more yeah, than just Sky is saying she physical has, medium. Yeah, psychic. Mm -hmm. me. Does she sometimes have psychic like ability to turn something uh, go uh, on? Physical. Physical, yeah. yes. Yeah, she's a physical medium. It's yeah. Physical, yes. So she's more yep. of the feeling that the heart itself is not. She gets a feeling thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So maybe wow. the other two ladies like to share something? Yes, indeed. Um, whichever goes first, can you tell us your story a little bit? Sue? Okay, um, well, Sue will go first. Okay, Sue's going to go next. Okay. So she's going to start. So I found empathetic when I was sleeping. For example, I was in school when I was 16 years old. My mind was doing some school, and somebody passed away that morning, and I was cleaning. And she came home from school, and she thought, "Why am I thinking about this? It's not me." It's uh, so I arrived home from school. My mother said the exact same word. Your uncle died this morning. So that morning, she knew somebody died. And she got home from school, and her mother told her, and she went, "Oh, because she felt something." And then we went to California one time to visit a friend in her house. And I went. I went to bed. I was off. I was just sleeping. Just show the shades are down, very thick, heavy shades. Dino type shading, like a very strong to the to some the, the talking about the shade being very thick. Mm -hmm. And the house y'all next to each other, no load in between. Bright, bright, bright light came shining through the curtain. She woke her up immediately and said, what is going on? She looked around, she got up, she woke up, she opened it up, she opened the curtain, it disappeared. Mm -hmm. The light just disappeared, it just gone, there's no light, there's no car, there was no thing, there was no, just, and she was very confused, like, where did the light come from? And so that was the first time she experienced something unique. And last thing, she, my father had a back leg, uh, had a bad leg. In the bed door. So my father slept in the other bed. But then we always, the wall, the way he sleeps. I felt banging, banging on the wall. And it woke me up. I said, What is that? So she's looking around, nothing's happening. She got up, she went to the bathroom, and she saw my father said, Help, help, bang, banging. He went around and asked, Are you all right, Dad? You could, my leg is cramping, it's painful. And my father asked, How did you know that? And because I just knew something that he said she felt the pain, that he was having some pain or something, but mm -hmm. he wasn't banging on the wall. So she knew she was angry with the pain in his leg. Mm -hmm. So the father was interesting. So his mother was trying to help her. It's like, oh, your mother's married to you. So, this, so he married to my woke her up. One week later, I was sleeping and I felt something tapping on my foot. So I knew my mother saying thank you. So her mother was already passed away. So I guess her mother said thank you for taking care of her father. So she sent her father and her mother was coming back to her saying thank you. Wow. Wow. Nice joy. Wow. 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 <laughs> <clears throat> it's amazing so, to hear that. So, I knew a little bit about Krista, but I didn't more I didn't know all that information she said tonight. I'm like, what? So Jane, do you wanna hi. My name is Jane. Hi everyone. Hello. Hello. Jay said hello. I grew up in Foster Home. Oh she said you grew up in Foster Home, okay. So she grew up in Foster Home, so she went from the house to house. So until the seven, when she was seven years old. Can you move the camera? Can you move the camera back? There. <laughs> so she jumped from home to home, different home, and she was in foster, foster. The last home she was in, it was a children's home. 
when I was living in the children's home, I had eye surgery and I was sleeping on my bed, it's like a bunk bed, a bunk bed on top. And I'm feeling something was tapping her. I woke up, looking around, there's nothing around her. So, and then, and before he, that, I was getting a lot of tapping on the shoulder, calling me. She kept looking around, thinking somebody trying to get her attention, nothing. Six, seven years old, didn't understand what was happening. And when I went to work, I would move to a new house and I worked in a group home. And I removed and I was sitting on the couch and I felt my foot being pushed <clears throat> back. Like, and she didn't know, it's like, that came out of the blue, like, and she's looking around like, there's nobody there. No, who touched my foot? Like, and she learned that I, a man named Bob, would live there at the heart, died at the heart that she, would, she moved to. And we called him Mr. Bob. Now the first and then the other staff felt it. So not many people knew it felt Bob. It was her and another person felt this guy present in the house. I wasn't scared. And my husband passed away five years ago. Wow, there was a lot of things happening. I told my husband in a conversation before he passed, if anything ever happened to us, how will I know that we can communicate through light? light flickering or tapping on my shoulder on the left side of my heart where the heart is. So it's always gonna be on the left side. So I said when she sold the house and she moved and we moved here to a new home, my daughter started in the kitchen light with flickering, flickering, flickering. And then the bathroom like started flickering, flickering on. Then voices, the, the voice your daughter here, the voice your daughter hears, your daughter, your daughter's hearing, so her daughter can hear the voices and that, okay. Over <coughs> here, but she's here then. When I hired an electrician to call an electrician and to investigate and inspect the different lighting and so the kitchen, the bathroom light and the electrician, so the company came to check all the rooms. What's wrong with our wiring? What's with nothing, nothing's wrong with your wires. My bedroom often flickered too. When I can go into the room, the flickers and then I stop and I leave if look at so it's like saying hello and bye. <laughs> <laughs> you can smell something, you can smell your husband. It's bad feet. Oh he, she can smell her husband's bad feet. Yeah. That's definitely him. Yeah. He is uh I, I'm gathering that he was a kind of a, a prankster, a funny guy. So Jake said, Jay said, I'm, I'm getting an idea that he is a funny kind of a guy when he was alive. Yes, he was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She yeah. also had, um, what, the, what with the hair? What with the yeah. hair? Oh, you pat yeah. your head. Oh, you pat your head. Yeah. Oh, are you sleeping? Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. He he wow. he he's so around. He's he's around. Both you both know things. you know, nope. you know when he's around a lot, you and know, I think that that's adorable. I really do. He's always around you, chasing that. 
Jay is saying that you are, he is, is always around you. It's like I'm stuck in, but he's near you all the time. Yeah. You understand yeah. me? Yeah. All right, hold on. I don't think he's understanding. So Jay is saying, you know that he's around because all the things that he's doing with you, the lights flickering, the different room, the padding. <laughs> so he was saying that he must have been a funny guy when he was alive. The who like who like I guess a yeah. So Jay was saying that he's probably that, that, that was probably he keeping his attitude. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So that was the thing that he did: patting my hair, flickering the light. So that was yeah. the thing. Yeah. The same yeah. smell, yeah. smelling his feet. The so Chris yeah. wanted to add. So he. Oh, could or could I got two people? Stop! 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 Put to say that again. He paid attention to letting her that he's here. So he's always letting her know, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. He's at the wedding, his anniversary wedding, he's looking at the light. So when the anniversary just came out, he's looking at the light. He was like, letting her know. Yeah. yeah. And then over the years, he had, he's, he's closed out of there. He's not, no, I'm sorry. But right. still. Right. Yeah, that, that, that is so that is so awesome. Um, I can sense that um, that your husband is just he comes in and out often. But Jay said he comes in and out. When you move here, when you, now he doesn't come. He doesn't. He hasn't come in her life in a while. Yeah, well, so you kind of stopped. Yeah, um, he'll be back. He will be back. Yeah. The guy, Jay said that he will be back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I oh, hope yeah. so. <laughs> yeah. And Crystal, Crystal knows too. Crystal knows too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She knows that. Yeah. She has to be able to, to being around these. All three of these ladies being close together like this, you guys share a commonality of energy, and that's beautiful. Yeah, so they each other, and it's a great team. They love they love working together. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I feel something around. I feel sick. Then I have stomach sometimes. So she knows something. I leave the building. I'm better, I'm fine. So she, oh, so that's like out in public places, you mean? I mean, like out in public place? You get sick and well, what's this? You know, out, yeah. So I guess when she goes to out to public places. You know, it's kind of fun. You got the baby. It's, so I had one smaller incident happen when I was a freshman in high school. And my mother did like shocked. Like, how did you even know that? So I was in Cape Cod and the phone rang. Cause we lived, my parents had a second house and the phone rang. And for some reason, I yelled out and said, Mom, that's not going to be a good phone call. And she looked at me like, what are you talking about? And she answered it. And it turned out that my uncle passed away. And I had no idea why I knew it was going to be a bad call. But I was just like, my mother was like, I don't even know. I just felt that's the, that's the only thing I've ever had. I'm not like three of you, but... It was mm -hmm. that one time my mother was just shocked that I made that comment out loud so fast before she right. answered the phone. Right, right, right. Well, let's let's talk about um, when you all three got together and did your first investigation. How did that go? When you guys got together the first time to do the investigation, how did that go? Crystal. 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 We, oh, you, so you're, you're Hunter. So you and so Jane and Crystal started together first. Okay. Before Sue came into the picture. Okay. So I got Crystal. So we pee to research history, research history, and find out I can do this. So if for example, you have children go to IP or bring a toy or something that has to wear to so connect them with them. So she might bring a toy, or she might bring a truck, 
so that maybe a little boy will play with her or something and do something with that. So she mm-hmm. brings something to somehow interact with them, you mean? So you try to interact with them without you doing to interact with them, connect with them, communicate with them. Cool. Then we will bring equipment. So I said, rum, let me light flickering. I don't know what that Red is. Pirate. Oh, the, uh, he know, yeah, he knows. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, and what's the other one? What's this? Oh, cat ball. Yeah. <laughs> I have three of them. Oh, cat ball? What's, what's yeah. the cat ball? Yeah, I have three of them. So. When the yeah, cat, yeah. yeah, when the cat moves it, it lights up, or when the spirit moves it, it lights up, or touches it, it lights up. Yeah, it's it's uh, oh, motion really? sensitive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Elizabeth is telling about the cat ball to me. Um, yeah, no, I love the cat. The, the cat. I've I've had I've had a lot of good luck with the cat toys, so. He loves, he loves, he loves, he loves cat toys. Mm-hmm. Jay's saying that. Jay. He loves, so she loved doing it too. Yeah. yeah. The flicking light. And if she asked Jay and Jay and talking about lighting, I don't know, that's a red light. All the, so they, so the cat will play, but they will play with that. Mm-hmm. What's the thing? To investigate yeah. it. Okay. Why do they use that? And a lot of other water water movement toys, water balls. Oh. Okay. You move all oh, move by yourself. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> so tell them. Oh, but oh, so this NT shop that she bought something about this the special toy. But, Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold. Jane, what? She's just explaining what? About the cat toy, the ball. Right. The, if you touch it, the light will go off. Yep. Yep. Okay. The light will go off. Right. Right. Put up with when she went to from a primitive store, primitive store in Connecticut. Connecticut. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> and an antique store. Oh, an antique yeah. Store. <laughs> yeah. And she'll join other team and she <clears throat> and go home group that four or five years ago. We ran into an, an, an attic of one person asked that the, the goat can touch or move ball mm, okay yeah so the bowl the water bottle water bottle, water ball and yep. the little boy the spirit did move it and she was shocked by the move it wow <clears throat> uh, so as as a ship the ship two years ago three years ago um they did them, you, did, you went on a ship, okay, called U-S-S-S-L-A-U-S-S-L-M, okay, I guess it's the name of a boat. Oh, okay. U-S- okay. So she investigated with another group of people. Mm. And one of the uh, medical medical medicine room in the hospital hospital section of the medical group room, hated woman. That's us heard, but to me, I've always sat there and just did uh, just listen, and the different different equipment to use and set up, and in the area to all the different part of the room. Mm-hmm. And one of the beds that the bunk bed had. What did you have on? What did you have on the bed? The water bottle? Oh, the ball, the ball. Okay, the ball, the ball, okay. The ball on the bed. Um, okay. And they're sitting there waiting. Yeah, asking question. How does that ball roll? How does it fall? 
with a smash. And I thought maybe uh, the mattress is not enough, soft enough to make a fall. Thought maybe right. it's not good. So good uh, behind the, the wall, I had something behind it, three or four stuff I brought with me. And I was testing it to see the softness. It's impossible. They can't fall. I tried, tried, tried. It's very hard. She, just, she banged on the bed. The, the wall didn't move at all. So, no later. So, so when did it start moving? The light on the ball moved, and then it rolled off. So the <laughs> light went on a few times, and then it rolled off. Interesting. Wow. Wow. <laughs> It's wow. fascinating. She puts yeah. it there. So they caught on video. So oh. Susan, but they caught that on a video. Where oh, I'd like to see the that. The ball lit off and then it rolled off. So they yeah, caught I that on, on, on the video. Yeah. 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 That's cool. Yeah. I've never gone to any of these investigators. I'm hoping maybe this year <laughs> I might go with Crystal. I mean, I yeah. work with Crystal right now, but it's just like she tells me stories. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, do you want? Well, there, Katie, you know? Katie there, there's a reason why you're doing this. So there's a reason why you're here. So, you know. But I'm listening. I love to listen to people's stories. I do. I mean, I, love, <laughs> I used to watch it all the time on TV. Right, so right. My... We're better than TV. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so let's uh, let's talk a little bit about um how was the reception when when people investigators that could hear and then came across you a paranormal team that were deaf okay how did they treat you okay so this is gonna answer the question so put the you both up hearing team before, right? So how we I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you Jay's asking a question. Those hearing people, how do they perceive you as a deaf team? Were they curious and how the, can they do feel that how can they be investigated? The first time. Yeah. So so the really first time. a various experience. Very different people the actions like like what? You rely on them. You rely on people can. Oh, I know. I know. I can feel it. There is. So some of the ghost hunters I went in a group. A lot of people are afraid. And they feel or they or. But it's more you have to be open. You got to be open to, to feel these things, and not. Mm. It, it, it's so you're not closed-minded. So allow it to come in. So the visual to at the heart of it. It's more mm -hmm. focused on, they're relying on hearing, but Chris is relying on the feeling mm -hmm. that's around her, the energy, and the deaf and the hearing people work can work together. So maybe a deaf person can see something or cut something, but the hearing person can't. But the hearing person cuts something that the deaf person can't. So together, right. they're, they're coming up with a good- Right, right. Picture of what's going on. I guess that's the better way for it. Right. Did you, did can you ask her if if she did they have like a pushback? Like people didn't take them serious enough. So did did you have did you have people maybe like a pushback? Like they didn't take you serious enough. Or, mm, no. If you working with you, no, you never got that feeling. They were always fascinated. No, Good. they're all like fascinated, willing to work with you. All the day. oh wow, I got the best yeah. something out of them. I'm sure they'll probably be interested to see how they work. Right. So and I was and I, I, I I was always curious. Honor and respect. So Chris was saying that there's a lot of um honoring and respecting each other. Yes, yeah, that's that's wonderful. I mean, that is awesome. That is awesome. So what were we gonna say to? So what's the real question? So some of the hearing people they're curious, so they see us working and they ask, how do you so they ask questions? So what do you feel? What's going on? So they 
they want them to ask questions to them so they can describe or uh, explain what they're getting out of it to them, to the hearing people. Right. Right. So when right. they ask them, they respond and give them an answer. But they mm -hmm. might text it, they might write it. Because mm -hmm. I know a lot of deaf people tend to text with notes. Some people might write, depending on the person. Right. There's a lot, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, of people in the paranormal field. And I am so grateful that you have been able to work with um, people who respect you. And that's needed in this day and time. So I'm curious. Jane, hold on, hold on. Jane said the one problem. What's the one problem? It's hard for us as a team to find interpreter. Mm -hmm. Right. They can't find interpreters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they're having a hard time finding interpreters. It's very, very hard in general. I'm actually, to be honest with you too, I'm actually hard of hearing myself. I have a cochlear implant that I do very, very well with it. Mm -hmm. So when Crystal asked me, I said I'm going to do the best I can. <laughs> right. Um, well, you're doing fantastic yeah. now. So. Well, I know that. It's just like, so they asked, she asked me this afternoon, and I just sure, I'm just sitting around because I wasn't driving anywhere, and there's ice storm here. Where are you guys right. where are you from? Jay, where are you from? I am from Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Where are you living at? I'm in Maryland, but I'm from Maryland. California. Maryland. The Maryland and Wisconsin. Okay, so I'm just curious because no, we're in Massachusetts. Oh, okay. But all, well, all four of us are from Massachusetts. So, yeah. And who? Are you from Pittsfield? Okay. From, it's from uh, it's another town, Pittsfield. Okay. Oh, Maine. 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 I'm sorry, Maine. <laughs> Maine. <laughs> okay. So, um, Elizabeth, do you have any questions? Yes, yeah, so I have a lot of questions. Um, okay. when, you investigate, <laughs> when you investigate, do you um, ask, do you sign the questions or do you like think the questions? Because I know that a lot of spirits can read minds. So I'm, I'm curious how you do it. So, Linda thinks the spirit can read mine. Do you guys sign questions? Yeah. <laughs> so, so, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yes, they can read my Do they do they ask questions in sign language? Yes. They use D O D Downing Down Downing Rod. Oh, um, yeah. 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 Okay. They don't have to use the signing. You can just hold the thing and ask a question and they'll answer with that with the, the crossover. Wow. Okay. Cool. So you read the body language. For example, I went to investigate a good story I already know my mom. And the children and my came to me comfortably to communicate with her. Human people were most like, how do they come to you, Ma as the mom? So, because she's a mom and they they sense she's a mother and they mm -hmm. the children are comfortable to go to the hall because she's yep. a mom. Yep. And Jane said one house we investigated the voices happened all around. So Crystal walking down the stairs and had what? Oh, poles. The lights, oh, the light pole, okay. The light pole, okay, the light pole. You're walking down the stairs, and the light came on and off, on and off. So when they were walking down, they were letting Crystal know that they're, the, they're around the area. So when the light, the, that light is going on and off. Wow. <laughs> wow. And the owner, so the owner of that house never saw that light ever turn on. The house that Jane was talking about, they never saw the house like turn out of a turn on until Crystal came, they turned it on. <laughs> See? See? It was you, her. Crystal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's the word you used to say? What's the word you used to say, Crystal? 
I said, I said, it's it's all you, Crystal. I said, that's why. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So, have you had uh, uh, like deaf families that have reached out because of your unique talents to help and help them investigate? Um, you do have a deaf family. We talk to you and come investigate. No, I'm not yet. No deaf families. No. But she did ask questions. If I've gone to her house, no, not yet. But I've noticed there's some in the contact inside, inside for the first time. So we're, we want to help, but we can't fly out to this family. So they haven't actually done one yet. So, but there's also, they kind of one person asked, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the life costs money. <laughs> Everything but costs money nice these thing. days, I'm <laughs> telling you. <laughs> and nothing's yeah. cheap. Nothing's cheap. <laughs> we all know that. <laughs> yeah. I wish I could fly and, and do my investigations other places. But it's just too expensive. Yeah. So how did the how did the three of you meet? How did you meet? How? Jane and Crystal got together first through DPN, Deaf, Paranormal internet group page group we met there we and we made oh and then we investigated a forgot the name of the place up uh, fargo library in maine it's a security it's a joint a sue joined them when they did the library and then that, that's when they started coming together so jane and Krista met first and then when they did to maine sue joined them then so how long have we been together as a group now? Jane's been in the group now, what, for three years, four years? Mm. Four years now? Wow, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool, yeah. So Jane, but I the other, the other, the other, the other, the other, the other deaf people that have joined, but they're not part of the team. So they've had other people for seven years, for six years. Six, Chris has been doing it for six years. So I don't know if people join her and it's all family and see other people join her. Now she's now she, her group is expanding. So now you got two groups. Now I feel excited to look for more people to get together. But me and Chris know each other since for what, 15 years? Oh, wow. Uh, she was saying the 15, I think those two and Chris have knew each other for 15 years. But they didn't realize they were into the paranormal until they were those who went to Maine for the library. Oh, so guess what? And then they joined, you got curious, and then you later now you join the team. Awesome. <laughs> um, do they have a do you, Jane, you ask, could you ask Crystal Jane, again, if they have something. an investigation coming up? Do you guys have any investigation coming up soon? Any? Yes. At Cheney Hotel in March 26th. Well, hotel I just saw I just saw an image of like a hotel of like something, and so that's why I asked. Where's the hotel? <laughs> oh, it's in New York. Yeah. Oh, but she's all excited because I can't wait to go. Right. Um, um, also, when you guys go to this, and I tell people this sometimes because of the fact that I. Um, help try to help oh, other help investigators other protect people. themselves. Is that when you guys are together, um, maybe a little extra prayer or extra, you know, kind of togetherness so that because this is a big investigation you're going to? Yes. Yeah, before we announce to we investigate, they do it. Okay. Good. Those are prayers and stuff. You, I didn't know that. I yeah. never knew that to be I feel oh, like yeah. I'm yeah. <laughs> I do. I do it when I leave my house for work every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So, uh, Jane, you have to say, when is the first joint team with Crystal? So when Jane joined Crystal as a team, we always were fascinated with something different out there in this world. Mm -hmm. Spiritually, you know, so we joined a deaf paranormal network since with Crystal so that they treated it became paranormal deaf so they didn't touch Massachusetts. Um, I was alone for a while in Maine and then the deaf community. So it was hard for me to join it with a hearing person, a hearing team, because the communication, the talking, that's it, I can't follow, I can't understand it. Mm -hmm. Information gets passed, so she, I know that feeling. So if you don't want to, you can't understand things. Oh, and so when she found Crystal, she was all excited. She was just, she's glad she found someone to do something <laughs> with. She was glad she had someone to do it together. Now, and now she can, and, and uh, Crystal says she feels very blessed to have the two girls, the two women, to join her. Oh, it's it's a blessing for me just to be able to talk to the three of you and the four of you now. I mean, I I okay. truly I'm so glad that that I am able to be able to, I'm able to do this. So you guys are just sure amazing, amazing. So um, I also wanted to ask you, um, have you had any cases that all of you or any of you didn't like? So look, I can think of So. I think what you're looking for, did you have a, a case or an incident that you didn't like it, you, you felt frightened by it, or you felt like, uh, <laughs> or maybe you felt, I don't know, I'm trying to find a word, but maybe they're not thinking. Like afraid? Like, yes. So before she joined the team, I was alone, and I volunteered to, to join a hearing group one time. They knew the first time they was not much, we went to this house, Never saw, I never investigated before. It's written you new. Know, three people, three roommates, and so I remember we entered the house and I felt unwelcome. I would not want to there. I came up the stairs and I felt scared. I had to go up and look around. I looked down. I had to breathe slowly and I went up the stairs and I felt like still waiting for a friend to talk to the to the people who were upstairs and that came on. So she didn't feel wanted she wanted to leave she felt scared but but she said pretty cool and relaxed and, and then so when she was leaving she felt somebody something was scratching back on her back like she scratched on her like she felt that when she was leaving to scratch her back wow so I found I prayed and felt standing between us the ghost and both of us feel it. We're both looking at each other and we, we both prayed together and the, and the uh, spirit left. And said, okay, and I felt a little bit more safe now that, that, but that place, she just didn't like it. Now, when, when you guys were together and you, and you like investigate, when you guys were together, or if you've had a, a, like a bad experience, is it? Have you had ones? Had have you had a, a bad experience when you're alone, or is it always been together? Um, the two of us, me and Crystal, investigated, and I called the Conjuring House. Conjuring House. Oh. <laughs> we were <Yeah>. questioning <laughs> the bathroom. Oh. As I was sitting on the tub, 
and unexpectedly, when I questioned, I asked a question related to two mirrors in the other mirror. So there were two mirrors in the room and the bathroom, okay. And is there anyone come out of these two mirrors as a portal? Yes. And she got an immediate sick. She felt sick. She didn't feel that she was dizzy. She she had to run out of the room and left. She was like, I was like, oh, she was running like she was drunk. Oh wow! Oh. And she investigated. She had to uh, uh, help. So she had to ask another investigator to help her walk out because she felt really dizzy and and um it's like drunk. Wow. wow. Yeah. So she, when she got out of the house, she, she calmed down quite a bit. So let me understand that. So you said that you were asking about the two mirrors. So and something came up, and you thought out of the two mirrors. Is that in my understanding? Something came out of the two mirrors, or the portal, or the or, or the. But I know you said something about what was off. See the portal. The mirror was actually had the portal. Oh, okay. What, can she not see me? I don't know what's going on. Jane, this is a dad, I don't know. Oh, you lost me? Oh, she lost me for a second. Oh, okay. So it's a portal. So it's a portal that came to the bathroom right. And you asked a question with two mares and asked if, if, Anyone gone through and come out of the portal? And you said yes. And then somebody came up. That's when you got really you got sick and dizzy and wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And honestly, John. Um, so Crystal said that she hates doing doing the bathroom. And so Sue said, no, I don't like doing bathroom. A few yeah. times, I still hate it. Nope. I, I don't blame her. Uh, hold on. Sue, so you don't feel comfortable doing with mirrors in the bathroom? Nope. So nope. Sue's saying that the mirrors in the bathroom, she didn't like it. She's uncomfortable. Nope. She doesn't <laughs> like it. Nope. Mm -hmm. Also, wow. James, and also in that bathroom, I had to hide the, the closet door, you had to hide where the seven soldiers hiding in the closet. Oh. Hold on, Krista said no. That, that is the something family to live there. It's a different, it's, I guess it's a different group. You know, they found seven army people in the closet, in the wall, not in the bathroom, in the wall. They heard that in general, the army hid in the bathroom wall, not dead, no. Okay, so she know, so you died, okay, so I, Jane said no, not the door, not the closet, okay. So it's the wall, okay. Where was this at? So they're saying that, well, so, I mean, Jane thought that but Chris is, is collecting it, it was not in the bathroom, it was in the bathroom wall. I guess they were oh. hiding in the okay. wall, not in the closet doors, and they were alive, not dead. Mm. Okay. Is that right? Am I answering that right? Okay, let me show. Okay. But Sue, Jane said, help interpret the seven armed soldiers were hiding in their closet, but in the bathroom. But it's not dead. Right. I know I got that from Chris. I understood that now. But they were around there. I, I got that now. So they were just hiding in the wall. Just they were alive. They weren't dead. I get that. So what are what investigations are you drawn to? Um, is it any or do you do um, like old buildings or residential homes? Or it's just whatever you're called to.
more like old building. Should we say more old, like old building with history, with some history in the in the building? Mm -hmm. what? Oh, oh, the other building, A, B, uh, abandoned or abandoned building. Yeah, abandoned building. Yep, nurse, nursing home, hospitals, that kind of stuff. They're, they're drawn to. Mm -hmm. And sometimes museums, sometimes museum in history with historical stuff. Um, Chris, Chris went to a museum called L'Eau -E F F. No. Spell that L E L E F F I N G E Lovingo House Museum. Oh, okay, okay. No, okay. I get you know it. Yeah. Connecticut. Yeah. Yes, no. Mm hmm. They, they, they know. Yeah. So she went to Beth Gitta Hart a long time in Connecticut. I went to the museum and I was an army, we all dressed up, we sit stuff there. There was a war historical place. And I remember one person had asked to go, can you walk around and feel so I can feel that the floor being boom, waiting. And finally she felt boom, 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 in a circle around them. Oh, oh. And got fascinated by the fact that it was quiet and you can feel this walking, they're walking around. And she said, thank you so much. She, said, she thanked them for what it's funny because other people were walking and I felt soft, regular soft walking. And the same, like you, you feel like a metal, not walk, like a um, boot, the boot sound of the, the walking on the yeah. um, pavement, the boot sound of the boot. I think what she's getting at for a deaf person, it's going to be the, uh, the bass that they tend to the feel. Vibrations. It can be deep, but it can be right. soft. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So right. she's saying that it was soft, but they were walking around her. Right. 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 But the feeling that she's getting from that. Mm -hmm. I need to, I need to, to um, ask Crystal a question. Um, have you ever felt the need to help somebody cross over? Yes. Have you crossed people over? Uh, uh, Jay is asking for those questions. Have you ever felt the need to help someone cross over? And Crystal said, yes, bad. You said, you said candles. Okay. And she makes her, so when the light goes out, she knows they cross over. Also, I had a friend that a medium that helped them cross over. I felt them change. You knew they crossed over, the movement felt different. That's a fantastic you know, idea. And I felt like I didn't like it. I was happy for the ghost to cross over, but like she thought she was crying. She felt right. emotional right. about the cross over. Right. right. That's, that's Elizabeth, you need to remember that. <laughs> because I that I didn't ever really think about that, but using that candle in that way, in that not only is it a matter of respect, but it also it's uh, a validation. Mm -hmm. Is that last word? Validation. Uh, validation. Oh, validation. Yeah. Yeah. I think. It's, that 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 candle. Yeah. That's pretty fine. The feeling, the candle. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm not. I mean, did the Elizabeth feel that feeling sometimes? If you're meeting yourself, do you get that feeling? What like Crystal's explaining? Yes. You do. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm just curious because I don't know. <laughs> do you have any, any questions, Elizabeth? So I know that all three of them are gifted. All three of you are yeah, gifted. I knew um, that too. <laughs> and I'm, I'm curious because Sue, I feel like is hiding some of her gifts. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering if 
is if she knows all of them and if she's developing them. I mean, so all three of them she's speaking For, of? So I know all three of them are gifted. Crystal is very good about so, so using three, your, Yeah, so Crystal, you're very good about using your gifts. Jane uses them, but not like, like only when she needs them. Sue, I feel like, is hiding them. <laughs> so I'm wondering, are you working towards developing so that you're more comfortable in using them? That's why I plan to go to more opportunities, more opportunity, opportunity to Mm -hmm. So we can get more opportunity to, to hearing the team and maybe try to, right, so you can develop more, yep. right, yep. and get invited so they, so the three of them get, get invited with other team and, I don't know, kind of like work with each other, mm -hmm. I guess. No, that makes Come sense. to Maryland. <laughs> yeah, that's that's Maryland. Challenge. <laughs> <laughs> it's an opportunity. Um, I think... With, with anything with the deafness, I think we need to educate people about deaf people. We're I just agree. we're like hearing people too. We did we, and I think if we educate them, maybe some of these hearing team might be more willing or welcoming to the three of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's just my that's just my two two cents. <laughs> also, it's important that the ghost that we are deaf. So why? Because some of many years ago, people thought ghosts thought deaf people d didn't exist, or they were the what they need to be informed that they were deaf people here. Mm -hmm. so, so when they join to the investigation, they go they need to tell them that these three are deaf. So they can find a way to communicate, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would love to work with them. Yes, I would too. Yeah. Uh, what, Jane? Crystal, explain about your new. Your new bell. Bell. Oh. It's gonna go get something. I think they got something new recently. Okay. Pendulum. Oh, pendulum. Yes, I know she was talking about buying that. The pendulum. Pendulum. I can't. I'm not pronouncing that right. Pendulum. 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 Yep. pendulum. Okay. It's new. Okay. Well, first of all, she bought it, but she didn't show me nothing. Okay. Right. Okay. So a year ago, a, a team was studying about ASL. Um, I just ask, okay. Yeah. You, a year ago, you were the UFO too. UFO, the second word. Uh, at the, at the phone. Oh, you guys know that? Okay. I don't know. Yeah. 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 What is that, Elizabeth? That's like that? for the pendulum so that it can answer the questions. Oh, okay. Okay. The okay. oh like you yeah. use your voice sort of. Yeah. Um, so you use the pendulum and the pendulum swings okay. and it answers the questions. Ah. Haven't you been trying to get me to get one of those? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have. Okay. That's what All I right, thought. So, <laughs> just like me, so like, oh, All right, so bad, bad crystal. One year, I was studying, and I tried. I tried to put ASL a a spelling. This why yes yes, and oh no. Trying to do this, do the yes and no kind of question. Did it work? Did it not? She's not sure. She investigated, she asked the equipment, she answered the question she had. But this 
bothered and trying to save it. She tried, 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 and then just print a sign. Yes, yes, no. The word, and slowly it answered the right. So often it worked, but it took a while. I didn't see why. And then one day I thought, ooh, I need that signing. Deaf person, a deaf person to shut them the shadow movie is talking in sign language, and the other person is understanding sign language. So you say yes in sign language, and the deaf person will say yes in sign. So you have to, she's pretty telling why he has to say yes, and the other person is going to sign the sign yes. Oh, so okay. So it's more like communication, saying it and understanding it. So it's like it with the dog one and the pendulum to start being with that circle. So she had to say yes, and look at Crystal and said yes. Is that the same? So she had to work on it to communicate. It was a, it was a uh, communication dis disconnect. Mm -hmm. When she's saying yes, and there's not, the communication is just not matching, it's just like, okay. Right, right. So to work, but at this time it's so important is you have to explain it 2D. Mm -hmm. You mean like a 3D type format? Is that what you mean? Yeah, because it's, yeah. it's yeah. yeah, that picture is in 2D. Sure. So you'd have to use arrows. See how it likes the arrows for yes at the oh, top? Yeah. yeah. So Elizabeth is saying that the arrow was in there. Elizabeth was in there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I said, now we see it. Okay, now we see it. That's cool. James and Oliver's original watches pendulum board. Yeah, it's a dog. No laughing. So, um, Having having you three ladies here, um, it, uh, any any of you have a question for me or Elizabeth? Have you ever met a deaf investigator before? Uh, now I have. Yeah, and I would second no. that. Yeah, no, I, now I have. <laughs> so maybe I have a question. Because you said you're a medium of the best. I hear different kind of medium do different kind of things. Mm -hmm. So what are your gift as far as medium goes? <laughs> I haven't figured them all out yet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, no. Uh, so when spirits, when spirits talk, uh, at least right now, I see pictures in my head and sometimes like hear thoughts, almost like just the spirit is putting the thought in my mind. And then sometimes I, I feel like I know what animals are thinking, but they can't tell me that that's what they're thinking. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm basically the the same similar with Elizabeth but um, I do psychometry with pictures I've done readings through email text um, on the phone email or text was a little bit difficult but it still was interesting um, I had a part of the reasons why I my gifts came to light was I had a stroke in 2013. So my after I healed and got better and um, my brain worked a little differently. So so yeah so now, so now so yeah so now I I I try to help people as much as I can. Um, I also kind of help other mediums to discover their gifts and Elizabeth is one of them <laughs> yeah she was put oh, on my she was, she was put on my radar last year <laughs> yeah 
So um, most people who are... Have you guys ever met a deaf ghost, a deaf spirit? That I have not, that I would be aware of. I mean, they don't know if they, they're not sure. Right. That'd, be, that'd be interesting too. Right. Do you remember my friend, deaf friend who's the medium, she told me that she saw a deaf ghost. Wow. To her. Completely, didn't completely understand it, but she got intrigued like, and got familiar with this person. That was just right. one, one, one ghost, right? One place. Right. As far as 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 far as I know, um, from my understanding, that um, usually a person that's passed away who hasn't crossed into the light and is on this side, um, they probably will still carry some of that, you know, their disabilities or their emotions or something like that. So. Um, I mean, once they cross, then all that goes away. But, but yeah. So, so I, I never met a, a deaf a, a deaf spirit. Um, I've met some pretty angry ones. <laughs> you met some what? <laughs> some pretty angry ones. Oh, some pretty angry. <laughs> I'm so, sure you have. So, yeah. I wouldn't know. I've never asked the spirits if they were deaf because they I don't hear words. I get the feelings or the thoughts are put into my head and I don't hear the different spirit voices. So it's possible that I've encountered deaf spirits, but I I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should go to Pan, uh, Pan, P, oh, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Oh, Pennsylvania. Yeah, when when I was younger, uh, I started to learn ASL just because it always made me curious. I always wanted to learn. Well, actually, I teach it over here. I I created my own business doing this, um, but not. Time, not enough money, so I'm slowly getting back up again. Right now, I'm for spring, I got three adult classes going, but I, would, I had nothing for a year and a half. Oh, wow. But I've been oh. teaching at one school for 15 years for an adult program. It's just, it's just a night thing. Like, you can go learn how to call, go learn how to do computers, whatever. It's one of these things. So, I've been doing that without teaching it. Oh, that's good. You know, maybe then we should take you up on that. <laughs> yeah, I teach you guys. Yeah. Yeah. I've always uh, wanted to learn sign language, so, you know, maybe it's time that we A lot of people do. Yeah. yeah. I always ask when my student show up my first night, I ask why you guys want to learn. Because the reason why. I want to know. I want to make sure I want to meet the goal. Because everybody coming for a reason. I've had right. people walk back to the office, dentist, dentist, dentist office, uh, t shirts. Um, um, my wife is going to come in now. Yes, Jane. Yes, Jane. Jay, we can teach you one spiritual sign. You want to know? Want to learn one? Oh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> that spiritual. So you, you put your hand like this, and you're taking that pinky, and it's, it's it's like it's like it's rising, like a smoke. Think about it. Oh, um, like, it's a spiritual. Oh, like this? I do these two oh. fingers, and then and but you're coming out like a cup. You're coming out like a. There you go. You got it. <laughs> okay. It's the thumb and the 
Oh, oh yeah. Okay. And then, <laughs> yeah. Thumb and index finger. Yeah, yeah, I was doing my pinky because yeah. I'm a weirdo. So <laughs> <laughs> you know, I did do some online, but it's really hard to teach online. Sometimes I have to turn my hand to show what my hand. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, but I want to thank everybody. So the other good thing about teaching, I have to be in a color that is solid, not busy, so they can see better. Oh. Yeah. That's what I think. Yeah. So like, can you see me well? See you? Okay. Let me check. I didn't change that. That should change. <laughs> I'm actually, thank you for inviting me. Crystal emailed me. This morning, and I'm like, I'm not really doing anything because I didn't want to drive anywhere or go anywhere. <laughs> so we have ice here right now. Yeah. So I want to thank everybody for yeah, coming. <laughs> and it's been a, a truly eye opening pleasure for me. I've learned a lot. Um, I feel that I'm just, you've made my evening. And I'm so glad that you we finally had somebody to interpret and i want to thank kathy for being a very good interpreter and just awesome mm -hmm. i'm not an official interpreter just so you know yeah. i don't know how to do this because technically but you did, but you did, but you did tonight so yeah yeah <laughs> thank, so you. thank you oh, thank you oh and Krista said, thank you for having us. Thank you for inviting them here. Oh, very much welcome. Thank very you. much. Thank you. Yes. So is there a place where they can find Silence Paranormal? There are a place they can find what? Silence Paranormal. The group? Like on Facebook or Instagram or... You guys have a... Maybe have a Mm -hmm. Social media page. page. Yeah, they, they have a Facebook page. What's it called? S I Silent Paranormal. Silent Paranormal. Okay. So on Facebook will be Silent Paranormal. Okay. Okay. So anybody that's out there that's watching the show tonight, um, please make sure you follow Silence Paranormal. Um, I want to thank these wonderful ladies again, and. Mm -hmm. It's just been a pleasure. So thank you so much. That's all the time we have for tonight. We ran a little bit long, but that's okay. Because this has been a fantastic show. And I want to thank everybody for watching. Right, until thank you. We, until thank we you. see you again next week. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>